Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a weekly program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. The story of the Greek Catholic persecution in Romania is without parallel in the 20th century. The Greek Catholic Church was liquidated, all of the bishops were imprisoned and many died in prison. Over 600 clergy were also imprisoned and over half of them also died. The communists they starting a kind of campaign against Vatican, saying this is a, an imperialist power. All the Greek Catholics passed to the Orthodox, so there is no more Greek Catholics. All the structures passed to the Orthodox Church, so there are no more metropolis, no more bishoprics, no more monasteries, no more churches, parishes and so on of the Greek Catholics. Being one of those who had close connections with our episcopate, I was wanted by the Securitate. Once arrested, I was taken to different places for interrogation. Father Langa said the time of the prison was the most beautiful time of my life. In that time, I was really in the hands of God. I was beaten for three months without any questions asked, and I suddenly remembered that Jesus had also been beaten. So I began repeating, Jesus, calling Jesus to be together with me in my suffering. He got in prison with the thought that he will never get out from there. We are following the fall of communism, and so many of these people that were agents of persecution are of course still in power. How important is reconciliation in this ability? We have to respect the word of the Bible, not to look at the person, but to look at the sin. The sin has to be erased and rejected, but the person has to be redeemed. It's a soul, a humankind. It's very interesting. There were persons from this that came to church. It was a place where many people found faith, atoned for their sins. So the devil, if he wanted to make us suffer, in reality served both us and God's sanctifying plan. The devil was there, but he sat aside, biting his fingers, seeing how he had stirred our love for Jesus.